I'm Dump Truck DS, and this is a special edition of Mapping for Quake. I've been keeping myself busy during the pandemic with Progs Dump version 2. And this is a giant release, and I, I was going to cut a big, crazy, flashy trailer for it, but I'm simply out of time. I've got to wrap this whole project up. So what is Progs Dump? In a nutshell, it's a dev kit for Quake. You download it, you play the sample levels just to get a taste of what you can do. Then there's a zip file that you unzip and that's your mod folder. It's designed for new and intermediate mappers, but expert mappers can certainly use all the features as well. So let's take a look at some of these new features. We really focused on monster customization and item customization in Progs Dump version two. There are a lot of new key values that allow you to plug in models, sounds, and new abilities. The reason we added this is so that you could make mini bosses with more damage, uh, less health, more health. You could do an instagib map where all the monsters have one health and you've got a quad, but they do, you know, 90,000 damage when they touch you. So there's a lot of flexibility there. Here's some of the modifications you can do to monsters. Custom sounds, skins, models, health, damage, names, obituaries, and much more without any coding required. This includes customizing monsters, gibs, and projectiles. Grunts, enforcers, and ogres have multiple new attack options, and we've added killable, gibbable versions of the original Quake bosses. Also, Rotfish will gib. Some quality of life features, trigger spawn monsters, continuous monster spawning, and random monster spawning. Respawn items, suspend them in air, drag and drop gore decorations. You can trigger visual effects like explosions, lightning effects, and a bunch of different shooters. You can add custom models with animation, multiple target and target names. There are unique new features like trigger look. That's something that John Romero wanted in the original Quake where you look at something and it triggers an event. Sight triggers where a monster sees you and that triggers an event. Pain targets when they reach a certain pain threshold, that tar triggers an event. We have doom style door behaviors where you retain the key and uh, the door will open and close if you have the key in your inventory. We've added item key custom, which means you can use any Quake compatible model, brush model, or sprite as a key. Mission pack additions like custom gravity triggers, rotating entities, candles, and proper elevators. We have enhanced teleporters with random destinations, monster only teleporting, changeable destinations, and more. Popular requests like ladders, cutscenes, and breakables are included. In fact, there are two styles of breakable, a real easy one to set up with 32 built-in textures to choose from. You can also use the custom method and use any texture you want. We've added additional pickups like health vials, armor shards. You can even set a monster to drop a key, or you can have the monster drop vials, shards, or both. I'm really pleased with item backpack. You can set what type of ammo you want the backpack to have. Uh, you can change the model and the pickup sounds. It's really flexible. If you use the Berserk key, that will disable pain animations on most monsters. And this kind of makes it like a nightmare level monster where they'll just keep coming at you. It's pretty cool. There's also a 95 page manual that explains everything in detail. And it's not just a, your average manual. There's a lot of resources and links even to video tutorials. And I'm gonna keep adding new tutorials in the future. The creator of the copper mod, Lunarin, was generous enough to allow us to use the MDL files for ammo and health models so that you can light your levels properly. You can also use the original BSP ones if you don't want that look. 
One of the new features is Funk Fall 2, which is an enhanced version of the original Funk Fall, where you can have a brush, obey gravity, and there's a lot of really crazy things you can do with this. Just one example is in the new sample map PD bosses. Just like monsters and items, you can replace the model on the torch uh, with any compatible model so you can mix and match different light sources. So that's an overview of some old and brand new features of Progs Dump. That's it for this episode. There's going to be a lot more Progs Dump related content coming very soon. I'm in the middle of two or three different videos already and there will be more after that. So for information on Progs Dump, definitely hit up the Quick Mapping Discord. Uh, send me a message there. We have a Progs Dump channel there. Also, uh, Funk Message Board, I'm there too. There's a thread uh, for version 2.0 and I'll put links down below for everything. So thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.